Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. In this video we'll be building two leg trestles for our four pallet workbench. The legs are made by laminating four pieces of the narrow pallet boards together. I'm going to do this work on the two pallet table because it's more comfortable for my back. We'll start by cutting out four long leg pieces. Use the pallet boards with chamfered edges for these parts because they'll be on the outside of the leg. Now cut four more long leg pieces from the straight edged pallet boards. You can see that this forms the second layer of a leg sandwich. Next cut four short leg pieces from the straight edged pallet boards. This is the third layer of the leg sandwich. I'm saving all of the offcuts from our original four pallets in this blue tub. That way we can easily see how much is left over when we finish building the workbench. Now cut four short leg pieces from the chamfered edge pallet boards. These four parts will be glued together to make each leg. I'll keep dropping the offcuts into the blue tub as I go. Now, clear away the tools and clean up the table before we start the next step. We've already assembled the four types of parts for the first leg, so now I'll quickly put the other legs together. I'll stack them up at the back of the bench ready for gluing. Set up the gluing clamps like we did in the last video. Because the boards are narrow, this time we'll be putting the bolts close together. Start the leg sandwich using a short section. This sequence will make more sense in a moment. Apply a generous layer of glue and spread it evenly. Build up the leg sandwich in the usual way. I think that this piece will work better the other way around. Start the second leg sandwich with a long board. Glue and stack the parts as usual. These clamps aren't big enough to make all four legs at once, so we'll make them two at a time. Put on the clamp caps and tighten the nuts. Pull the glue pack to the end of the bench and use a hand screw clamp to squeeze the two leg tops together. See, I told you it would make sense later. Leave the legs in the clamps for 24 hours to dry. Remove the hand screw clamp. Unscrew the nuts and remove the clamp caps. Prop 
Pry the two legs apart and show them off to the camera. You'll need to glue the other legs together in the same way. Put the legs on your planing bench and plane the edges smooth and flat. This can take a while to do if the boards weren't very close together in width. You can now see why we put the boards with the chamfered edges on the outsides of the legs. Next, lay out the four planks that you want to use for the bench top. You want two with cut off corners at the outsides and two with square corners in the middle. Choose the sides that you want to have facing upwards. Mark the top side of each board and draw a big triangle to show how they fit against each other. The boards that make up each plank will probably not line up cleanly on both edges, so when we plane those overhangs off the whole workbench will become narrower. Measure the width of the bench top now and subtract about 20 millimetres or three quarters of an inch to allow for this narrowing. Now we'll start assembling the first leg trestle. Start by laying out two of the legs on your temporary bench. We'll be cutting these two wide boards to form the upper and lower braces. Fit the two braces to the legs and make sure the legs are still bench top width apart at top and bottom. You also need a second top brace board for the other side of the trestle. This board will be hidden inside the workbench, so it doesn't need to be as clean or beautiful. Next, we need to mark and cut a slot in the leg for the bottom brace. Depending on where you live in the world, this slot might be called a dado, a housing or a trench. According to my textbook, this slot is a trench, so that's the word I'll use from now on. Mark the upper line first. Then mark the lower line to be about 3mm or an eighth of an inch less than the width of the brace board. This will allow us to plane down the brace board end until it makes a snug fit in the trench. Set your combination square to the thickness of the brace board and mark the depth lines for the trenches. Mark the waste area with a squiggle. Saw the trench very carefully at both ends. Then make a few extra cuts across the trench to make the chiselling easier. Chop out about half of the depth using your chisel and mallet. Then remove the remaining waste with shallower cuts. Finish the trench using handheld paring cuts with your chisel. Check the depth of the trench with your combination square. Mark the trench with some unique letter or symbol. Then decide which way around you want to put the brace board and mark its inside face with the same letter. Use your plane to clean up the edges of the brace board. Then make a mark on the brace board's lower edge where it's going to fit into the trench. Now plane that edge down until it fits tightly in the trench.
Take your time with this, just make a few cuts with the plane between each test fit. You're going to cut a slight taper working this way, so try pushing the board in from the side. That should work just fine. After cutting and fitting the second joint in the same way, I noticed I'd used the short brace board instead of the long one, but it didn't take long to plane the long board to fit. Having a slightly planed lower edge won't matter for the short brace board. Now we need to cut the trenches for the diagonal braces. Be very careful while marking these out and remember that they're a mirror image pair. Finding the trench depth on these ones is easier, you just need to remove the thickness of the first board from the stack. As a final sanity check before you pick up your saw, make sure your pair of mark trenches looks like this. Note the left and right mirror images. Saw and chisel these trenches in the usual way. That now leaves us ready to glue and nail the trestle together. Make sure that you lay out the legs with their short sides facing outwards. Identify the matching ends of your lower brace board and trenches. Apply glue to the trenches. Spread the glue into the trench walls as well as the bottoms. Fit your brace board into the trenches. Adjust the fit with your mallet. Check for squareness on both sides. Glue and nail on the top brace. This nailing will be easier if you pre-drill pilot holes through the brace. Check squareness again and nail on the bottom brace. Try to nail into the middle of the leg boards, not into the glue joints between them. Turn the trestle over. Then glue and nail the inside top brace board. Repeat this process to build the second leg trestle. In the next video we'll be making the four diagonal brace struts for the workbench. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a live studio audience.